What is up guys, this is Morton Power 35 here. Today what I got for you guys is another video from the Infinite Warfare Beta, and this video is going to be um, showcasing uh, one of the guns that I used um, for the most part of the beta, and just the overall, um, the overall guns and stuff that I used uh, during the beta within like the combat rig and things like that. This isn't a best class setup video because I haven't um, done enough research uh, and enough testing with the weapons to do a best class setup. This is just what I found um, to be enjoyable to use during the beta uh, when I decided to use an assault rifle for uh, the beta and this is going to be my favorite assault rifle it's the one I found the most success with um, this is the K bar 30 this is the normal variant um, I actually I don't think I have any of the variants unlocked for this one but um, I will say that this gun is a really really good assault rifle for you just unlocking it when you jump in the beta I don't know if it's going to be that way when you get into the full game but I do know that uh, this gun, um, for being one of the first unlocks that you get in the beta, um, is rather, rather good. Um, and the gun that I was just killed with, the M4 Vigilance, that's a, a really good gun as well. I'll definitely do a best class setup on that gun when the game comes out. But um, on this gun, for the attachments, I just use a normal reflex sight. Normally I use ELO, but I just didn't have it. Um, and I use quick draw and grip, which are the standard two attachments, excuse me, that I use on just about every gun that I have, especially my assault rifles. I should be using stock, but um, I just, I don't know. I like it without stock, but uh, yeah, so I actually have a pistol on this class. I think it's the EMC pistol. I don't use it that much, but I've just wanted to toy around with uh, different uh, pistols and things of that nature um, and then the tactical that I use is a it's sort of a tracking device like a homing device that you like right here that you press L2 and then it'll pop this up and it shows you exactly where the enemies are near you for a short period of time um, I found it really useful um, so that's what I've been using and then I've been using a sticky plasma grenade it's kind of like simtex but when it explodes it uh, shoots off into different particles uh so that it has more of a chance to hit your enemy if you uh if you're just standing or if they're moving around so um the combat rig that i use is the synaptic with the equalizer i really really like the equalizer you're gonna see me use it um I think right here, yeah, I think I'm about to, yeah, I use it right here. I go on a four gun streak with it. Uh, it's really easy to use, um, and it's really powerful, um, and it's really, I would recommend anybody use it. Um, it's a, kind of a Kimbo death machine, if you remember from Black Ops, the death machine from Black Ops 2. Or the scythe from a uh, black ops 3 but it's the akimbo version um, which is it's kind of OP but I like it um, and I hope it doesn't change um, and then I the score streaks that I'm using is the UAV uh, the scarab which is like the HCXD from bl the black ops series and then the scarab which I would consider a a mixture between a lightning strike and a rolling thunder from black ops 3 um i don't like the uh the scorchers uh it's just a little bit hard to use um because you only get the three uh three strikes with it so it's really hard to to use just like the lightning strike it's really hard to use it's more of just for i would use it more for like pinging where the enemies are if i'm playing search and destroy or something like that um but that's about it. I didn't really mess with the perks or anything. I just used the ones that were standard on the class. I can't even remember what the perks were that I was using. But uh, that's going to do it for this class setup. Or not class setup, but overview of this assault rifle and what I used on it. Um, I actually haven't done much uh, in the way of personalizing 
my rigs. Um, I may do that this weekend, but uh, as far as the camo goes, that's the Neon Tiger camo. Um, you just get it out of supply drop. Um, but what I am close to doing is I'm close to unlocking the um, the le the epic version of the the um, the uh, FHR. I have the legendary variant, which I'm going to be doing. The video that I'll be posting tomorrow will have the uh, it's a domination gameplay um, with the the FHR um, Havoc, I believe it is. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get that up for you guys tomorrow, um, and then I'll be working on getting some other variants this weekend because they said all the uh, the save data and everything that you've done in the PS4 beta will transfer over to this next weekend. So I'm really excited about that. I'm hearing that they're possibly raising the level cap. They've added and they're gonna add three new maps. Um, we know one is going to be Terminal, which I'm going to love playing. I got to play it a little bit um, in some of the classic Modern Warfare games, uh, but I didn't get to play it much. And here's some of the pistol that I was using. I didn't really use it very well. I'm not a pistol uh, player, but it works if you like pistols. So uh, that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Comment um, with what your favorite gun is in the beta. Um, and if you're going to be playing this weekend, um, and if you're new to the channel, guys, Feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next video.